in the health. Canadian men's health is a topic of discussion for us. The recipe, uh, what are we making today, boys? So we're doing a, a, an awesome recipe. The United Nations for 2016 has announced the pulse, pulses, otherwise known as legumes, uh, the dry pot of legumes, chickpeas, um, uh, uh, lentils, sweet, uh, sweet peas. And so what we're actually working with is my favorite ingredient for 2016. I fell in love with this a couple of years ago. It's young chickpeas. So think a chickpea picked when it's green, right? You can buy these at Costco, frozen, incredibly simple to use, add it to curries, add it to quinoa salads, add it to smoothies, put it in, you know, certain, uh, you know, granola recipes. Why not, right? I mean, packed full of nutrients, packed full, right? Get in there. Taste test, Shay. Packed full of Tastes goodness. Good. I and didn't even know they existed. For like right. that, that's why you that's guys like, are that's where the green at. ones. I knew chickpeas, obviously. Carbon yeah, I mean, I love things like hummus, don't we all? But mm -hmm. you know, there's so much more to a chickpea than um, just hummus, right? You can add it to all kinds of different recipes. So we're doing a salad today because for me, a couple of tips about how men should be eating in 2016 is we need to get more nutrient-dense, plant-based ingredients in our diet. We've heard it all before. Now, how would you choose that? As Ned's talking about this, how would you choose as a professional athlete what you're putting in your body? I mean, sometimes, Ned mentioned during the break, it's easier when the food's laid out, but how do you make those choices? You know, funny enough that we're using this today, we bought one of these about two years ago, and it's a blessing. I mean, you can put anything you want into that, and it mixes it into like a, a drink that tastes good. Put a little bit of fruit in there, something citric, and... Uh, the Vitamix, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. the magic you know, blender of Super all charged. things, whether you're making soup, whether you're making, you know, pestos, relishes, chutneys, sauces. So we've actually grilled some avocado because a little bit of grill gives it some flavor. Yeah. Um, the recipe's on, on uh, your BT website. We've got some green chickpeas. Shay, I'll get you to add some uh, olive oil in there, about a cup, please. Just, okay. just dump it in, it's fine. That's one cup? No, no, that's, uh, I think so. that, that's two. Perfect. And again, it's all about tasting your food, right? So you want to make sure that you're um, tasting as you go. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as a man, I like things to taste great. A lot around my home, I like it to be a little spicy. Like See, a spice. good sous chef knows exactly where I was going. He, he was knew, kind of he knew, he knew to I was pick like, oh. it. Oh, oh dude, you're, you're, you're hired, man. You're am hired. I supposed to be doing this? Yeah. Cut up this okay. Why do you slice? Salad. Cut up that tuna. So, roasted. Hands are washed. Don't worry, guys. Thank you. Ladies Very important. Roasted jalapeno. Yeah. Uh, take the seeds out. Put it in there. A little bit spicy, right? Um, a great way to add flavor is things like smoked oh, sea salt. This up. Right? No, you're doing great. Smoked sea salt because, of course, you're not adding a whole bunch of fat. You're adding flavor, which yeah. is really what great food is all about. Are there's there supposed to be a degree like that? That's how <laughs> I would cut it. That's why I would sure. do this. This I'll blame looks it on like the, a pretty good knife. I'll blame What's it on the on I'll blame it on the It's knife. a bad blade. It's a bad blade. That's I'll, what happened here. I'll blame it on the knife. It's better him than me. I'll tell um, so <laughs> blend all of this up. Add some fresh it's herbs. Shredded tuna salad, no, Shay. <laughs> hey, Sing don't be beating up my sous chef, or I'll take you. Hey, to, he said to he was going to give me some tips on the it's slicing technique here. It's I still have all my fingers. I'm yeah, good. yeah. See, I, I, I think he deserves, uh, yeah, he deserves I'm, a, I'm a hip hip hooray. Right there. Try, try it with some of the smoked salt. So, mm. some fresh herbs, whatever you want. I've got some chives, some tarragon, some fresh dill, basil would be great. Throw it in there. Olive oil, some citrus salt. Blend it up. Yeah. Then you get whatever your favorite salad is, right? You, you take the chickpeas that are in there, you take some more chickpeas. So these are frozen. All you got to do is thaw them and they're ready to rock, which okay. is pretty awesome. Then you take your tuna, like so. Now, this could be tofu, this could be baked salmon, this could be, you know, poached grilled chicken, this could be no, uh, no animal protein at all. It could be some, some cheese if you wanted. We'll take a few more some of... Some uh, root veggies or something like that? Absolutely. I mean, you know, for me, it's all about getting at least 50% of your meal full on the plate with a vegetable. That's a good thing to keep in mind. Right? I mean, especially on the health tip, and we're here talking about Canadian men's health. Shay, for you, when you look at creating change and sustainable change uh, for healthier lifestyles, what are some basic tips for men and perhaps universal tips across the board that will really help people change? As, as we were talking about earlier during the break is, uh, is just not having the stuff in the house. So when I go to the grocery store, that's where my willpower kicks in. I don't want to bring any of that crap that's in the center of the grocery store home because then I'm going to eat it. So if we just do a 
around the edges and we get the vegetables and the and the lean proteins and just have that type of stuff in the house, then I can graze and not worry about, you know, really what's going to be at home for me to eat on a daily basis. And I think that was really the, the changing point in my life is, you know, we started to get the, uh, the, the fresh veggies delivered to the house. So I knew every week I was going to have just a, a plethora of vegetables to choose from to one, make smoothies, to put into our power bowls. And, and my wife actually switched me over from, you know, ne necessitating some sort of, you know, protein, a steak, a chicken or a fish into my meals. And we just started doing, like I said, the, the thicker root vegetables. And I love like just roasting those vegetables and putting them on top of the Sh meal. Shay's new favorite recipe is a chia pudding that yeah. he's that he's chia rocking. Pudding. Chia yeah. pudding, right? So it's a little bit dessert because of course we all like something sweet, right? Yeah. I mean, for me, it's as simple as writing a list. When I go shopping, I put all the, the healthy stuff at the top. And I make sure I follow that list because we need those lists in our life, right? You need to be organized. You need to walk in there with a mission. It's like you don't go to a workout not knowing what you're going to do. Gotta Otherwise, have you have plan. a lame workout, right? Gotta like have your game when, you're, plan. when you're feeding yourself, food is the one thing that connects every human. You're feeding yourself, you're feeding your brothers, you're feeding your family, you're fe feeding your sons. How are we going to teach them the, the tools that they need for their future? So, well, speaking these, of feeding, these two right here are leading the charge. We're going to do the taste test. Uh, we have all the details on our website with the recipe Facebook page we'll put the details up for Canadian men's health there you see don't change much .ca. great website to find out more where are the forks where are the forks it looks you know what I think you guys should get in there with your hands we're gonna share <laughs> it's gonna be like sure a why not